Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Monday, April 1st, April Fool's Day, and unfortunately the video that I have for you today is not really a, an April Fool's Day prank. It's a bit of Starlink news, and it should impact a small number of you, but I'm going to go ahead and cover it anyway, because I think it's important to understand a lot of people used to use the web interface to access their Starlink units. So if you don't have a smartphone or a tablet, something with Android or iOS, you used to be able to just use a web page, a web browser to access your dish and do the setup that way. But as of last week, Starlink, it looks like, has depreciated that feature so that you can no longer access your Starlink dish and perform the setup through a web browser. Now, this is kind of a, a big deal for a small number of people, like I said, but it makes sense. And I'll explain that here in a second. But first, I wanted to go to the computer here and just show you what's going on. So I'm on Reddit here on the Starlink subreddit, which has a bunch of useful information. And I saw a bunch of these reports come in last week about not being able to re reach the, the old dishy.starlink.com URL or through the IP address, which is 192.168.100.1. If you used to type, you used to be able to type those, either one of those into a web browser while you were connected to your Starlink network and access the dish. But according to a bunch of different posts that I've been looking at over the last few days, it looks like that's no longer an option. And I've reached out to Starlink, haven't gotten a comment yet on it, they haven't responded to my support ticket, but it's being reported in the comments here on this post, this Reddit post from one day ago, that Starlink supports telling people that web access through dishy.starlink.com has now been depreciated, meaning that feature is no longer available. It's taken out because they haven't updated it. It's no longer supported. And this is another Reddit post that says the same thing. People, you know, have just been asking questions starting uh, last week about why they're not able to access the web page anymore. So it, if you, if you aren't aware, let me give you some context. So most people set up Starlink and manage their Starlink through the Starlink app on their smartphone. So it, the Starlink app is available for iOS and Android, of course. So if you're like most people, you have a smartphone, you can load up the app, perform the setup, and manage your system as far as troubleshooting, checking, statistics, etc. You can do all that through the app. So this affects just a small number of people. But there are people out there that do not own a smartphone or tablet. They don't have a compatible iOS or Android device. So they have no way of actually setting up Starlink. Now, they used to be able to just use the web browser. It was a very basic interface. It, it gave you just the basic setup options like setting your Wi-Fi name and password. It gave you visibility on your obstructions. And it also gave you a way to monitor your system as far as outages and statistics and everything like that. So that old web interface used to be able to access it at the URL dishy.starlink.com or the IP address of your dish 192.168.100.1. So now it looks like that is no longer a supported feature. So let me just try it out here for you while I'm on camera. So I'm gonna go to dishy.starlink.com and I think we need HTTP in front of it and a non-secure connection. And like what most people are reporting, I'm also experiencing, so it's loading up to the Starlink logo and it's no longer progressing past that. Now, I haven't used this to manage my system in the past, but I have visited this URL just to check it out. And I've done that over the years of as, as I've had Starlink and it's never taken this, load, this long to load. So there's definitely an issue here. Let me just try the uh, 192.168.100.1 URL, see if that works. Same thing, so it's just loading up the logo here and it's not progressing. So it definitely looks like the Starlink web page that the dish used to host is no longer available. And it kind of makes sense. And let me tell you why. So with Gen 3 now becoming the standard hardware, it's slowly rolling out, but it's now the standard hardware in the United States and Australia. It'll soon be expanding to all markets in the world. So there's no longer motors in the Gen 3 dish. And because of that, you have to do a manual alignment, a manual aiming. And that's done through the Starlink app. And the reason that they do it through the app is because your phone has a compass on it. And it's able to accurately determine which direction that you're pointing your phone. It's, it's able to determine which direction you're pointing 
the dish, um, all that Gen 3 setup means that you need a smartphone now to be able to set it up. So you're not able to do that anymore through the web page. And I think that's why. I think that they decided, hey, with Gen 3, since we're doing the manual alignment now, pretty much everybody's got a smartphone or, or tablet anyway. Let's just depreciate this old web page interface and move on. So I, I kind of noticed, I saw, I saw this coming, I think, uh, because mainly the web page interface hasn't been updated in a long, long, long time. So if you visited it recently, you would have noticed, even with the Gen 3 dish, it still showed an image of the Gen 1 round dish. And it was just very old looking. It, it just hasn't been updated or maintained. The alignment feature was not an option. Several of the other features were not options as far as what they've introduced feature-wise to the app. So you couldn't do it on the web page interface. It was very clear to me at least that Astronic was not paying attention to updating this. And so it's no surprise to me that this has come. So that is what it is what it is. I don't think that Starlink will be bringing this web interface back. I think that moving forward with Gen 3, especially a, a smartphone or a tablet with iOS or Android is not gonna be a requirement to set up and run your Starlink properly. Like I said in the beginning of the video, this just affects a small number of people, so I don't think it's that big of a deal. But I know plenty of you out there were using this web page because you didn't, either you didn't wanna use the smartphone app or you just didn't have one to begin with to be able to install that app on there. And I know another question I always get is, well, what if I'm in bypass mode? What if I'm using my third party router? Don't I have to use this web page? And the answer is no. You can still use the Starlink app and manage your system even with a third party router when you're not using the Starlink router. And that's because the, the app connects to the dish itself, which is the, the modem of the system. So you don't need, necessarily need the Starlink router involved to be able to use the app. So if you were one of those people that were using a third party router and you were used to managing your system through the web interface, go ahead and load up the Starlink app and connect to your network and you should be able to connect to the dish directly through the app. You'll notice in your little uh, diagram in the app on the main page, you won't see a router, you'll just see the dish. And you'll only be able to manage, of course, dish settings because you don't have that Starlink router settings to manage. So that was it for really for this video update, uh, a little bit of news there. And since it is April 1st, let's just go ahead and take a look at what Starlink has done for their April Fool's Day prank. So this is their April Fool's Day prank, if you will. Um, the app, if you notice, if you loaded it up recently, it now has an image, a background image of Mars. So that was their kind of fun uh, April Fool's Day prank. You can see that right there. But the previous news that I shared about the web page, Starlink web page being depreciated, and it is true, unfortunately. You're no longer going to be able to use that, that web interface to manage your system. And just to reiterate, we don't have confirmation on that from Starlink. So we haven't received any communication from Starlink yet, officially, that they have depreciated this feature. But I think the writing was on the wall. I think it's pretty obvious. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Were you using that web page interface to manage your system? Is this gonna affect you or not? Do you even care? Uh, but that was all for today's video. Uh, thank you for watching. I do have some exciting stuff coming up. Just got my Gen 3 Ridge Line mount uh, today from FedEx. So I will be working on a review for that. And I'm also finishing up my tutorial and review on a 12 volt DC power supply for Gen 3. So make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you stay tuned. Make sure you're also subscribed to the newsletter on the blog. So visit us at starlinkhardware.com and use a little text box in the sidebar to sign up, put your email in there to sign up for our newsletter so that you never miss any of our important posts. Because we do post to the blog and the YouTube channel. They're not always the same content, so make sure you're subscribed to both places. And we'll see you in the next video.